Welcome back Cougars. So this is video number three, challenge number three for day five of our maze coding challenge. And challenge number three is an addition game. So what we're going to do in this challenge is we are going to make sprites that have values plus one, plus three, plus five, minus one, minus three, and we're going to have the user click on these numbers in order to reach a score of 21. And then once the score of 21 is reached, the screen will change to you win. In order to do this, uh, we're going to create a new project. We're going to name it Addition Game and share it. And we're going to have two backgrounds, one called Game and one called You Win. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we're going to have a new game. We're going to name it Addition Game. And let's go ahead and share it. Oops, a little typo there, let's fix that. All right, see inside. Uh, we're gonna to go to our backdrops. We're going to name our first one game. And our second backdrop, we're going to name you win. I think that's what we said, wasn't it? Uh, let's see, yep, we're gonna name it you win. And let's go ahead and throw some text on here some exclamation points, uh, give it a, let's give it a backdrop background, and I don't want a purple background, maybe something that light yellow family, and let's move that backwards, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to need to make five sprites, so let's start by making a new sprite. We're going to create a simple box and we're going to put some text on it and our text will be plus one. In this case our color is the same as our background so it's blending in. So let's just go back over to our purples. That'll work. And let's grab our move tool and make this a lot bigger. And let's name this sprite plus one. All right, let's duplicate it. And this one we're going to call plus three. And we're going to name it plus three. And let's duplicate it. And this one we're going to call plus five. And change this to plus five. And let's duplicate it. <coughs> and this one we're going to have our minus, minus one. So let's name it minus one. And duplicate it, and this one we're going to call minus three, and name it minus three. So let's go back into our instructions and double check. We have plus one, plus three, plus five, minus one, and minus three as our sprites. Good. Now I'm going to create a variable called number. So let's go into our code. Let's draw on our stage here. I'm going to go into our code and create a variable. Make variable, I'm going to call it number, and go back into our instructions. So for number five, we're going to use an if-then statement to change the variable number to match the value of the sprites. So we're going to need to use the when this sprite is clicked at from the yellow events block. Okay, so let's go into our first sprite, our first sprite here. And we're going to say, when this sprite is clicked, and since this one is plus one, we want to change number by one. Now to do this more quickly, I'm just going to grab it and drag it into plus three. But in this case, we want to change it by three. And I'm going to grab it and drag it into five. And in this case, we want it to change by 5. And grab it and drag it into minus 1. And for this one, we want it to do minus 1. And the last one is going to be our minus 3. Okay. So let's go now and start coding our background. So we're going to 
start our code, and we're going to say when the green flag is clicked, and let's change our background to game. Let's test it. So game is a white background. Good. Um, and we want our number to show, and we want our number to set to uh, zero. So we're going to say when the green flag is clicked, change the backdrop to game, show number, set number, the variable number to zero. All right, now let's come over here and let's shrink this a little bit. This is a little big, so let's make that one 50%, 50%, 50%, and I think we'll put that on the pattern. And now they should all fit on the screen. So let's just sort of move them around. Something like that. We don't need the cat, so let's just go ahead and get rid of it. So, very simple. Alright, so when we hit the green flag, the number starts at zero. When we hit plus one, it goes up by one. Hit plus three. Alright, we got some crazy going on here. Let's see. Ah, uh, there's one of the issues. So for plus three, I have it set to minus three. Not sure when I messed that up. Uh, for plus five, I have it set to three. How did I mess all these up? Anyway, we'll get fixed. Then minus 3 should be minus 3. Okay, let's check this now. So there's by 1, 3, 5, negative 1, and negative 3. Let's so get our green flag to set it. So this should go up by 1. This should go down by 1, up by 3s, down by 3s, and up by 5s. Okay. Not quite sure how I made that mistake, but we got it fixed. We're good now. The next thing we want to do is we're going to go back into our stage because this is where we're going to program stuff is for the whole game and we are going to put an if statement so we're going to say um, forever we want it to keep checking it if and if the number is equal to or greater than 21 um, let's just make it equal to for right now let's see if our variable number is equal to 21, then we want to change our background, our backdrop to you win. So let's run it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, you win. All right, so that works. Um, but we've got an issue that you can see. There's still stuff everywhere because we need to hide these. So let's go back to our backdrop. Let's say if number is equal to 21, then switch the backdrop. And we want to hide this variable now so that when we go to the UN, we don't see number. Um, and let's put a when the backdrop switches to UN. This is for the first sprite. We're going to want it to hide. And let's just copy this through all of them. So there's one for three, one for five, one for negative one, and one for negative three. Okay, so now all of them have the code when the backdrop switches to you then hide. Let's try it again. Oh, what no, we didn't do. Um, we didn't tell it to show. So it's going to continue to hide. So let's go in and have it show. So we're going to say when the backdrop switches to game, that's when we start our game. When the backdrop switches to game, we're going to want it to show. Alright, so let's copy this through. We want all of them to show when the backdrop switches to game. And we want all of them to hide in the backdrop switches to hide. 
by two out of that. Let's go again. There's 21. Do that. Let's go again, but this time I'm going to go to 25. And let's go down to 21. And our game is complete. 